upset about the fact that they were not only about to lose their money from the, the idols that they were making, but that he was preaching a different God than the one that the people were serving. Yeah, yeah. And so because he was preaching a different God, the people got really angry. And this is what the Bible says happened. Uh, when they began to explain, when Alexander began to explain what they were preaching, and he was a Jew, and they saw that he was a Jew, the Bible says that they shouted this phrase, great is Artemis I'm going to read it exactly how it goes because I want you to see it exactly how it goes in Acts chapter 19. And I want you to understand the power of what we have and the prophetic thing that we're about to do. Their anger was boiling over and they shouted, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. And they shouted that loudly for two hours, the Bible says. Now, I know that in our American church services, we're trying to get out in 60 to 90 minutes. <laughs> but they shouted the same statement of worship. Great is Artemis of the Ephesians for two hours. Hallelujah. But our God is greater. Yeah! Now, the days of us coming together solely to get our needs met ended a long time ago, it's just that some of us didn't get the memo yet. Um, because I was telling Pastor that I just came back a few days ago from Tortola. Mm. And while we were ministering to Tortola, there were witch doctors right down front trying to put curses on us to stop us from worshiping. 
this is not about singing songs. It never will be. And here's the great thing about you, your hunger for God is about to release something in this city where people are shouting for other gods and dead gods and idol gods, but I believe that the Lord has a people here who will shout that Jesus is Lord and they'll do it for longer than two hours. They'll lift